What's up you guys? In today's video, I am going to be answering questions that you guys have asked me on my PC setup. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Giselle. I've had my channel for a little over a year now and I make a lifestyle videos. A few months ago, I posted a PC setup video and it really popped off and you guys had lots of questions to ask me. So I figured I compiled all those questions into one video and would answer them all here. By the way, just letting you guys know, I'm not a tech person, so none of this is gonna be really in-depth detail answering. It's gonna be more so questions that uh, a lot of my audience has been asking me. It's nothing gonna be like RAMs or anything. It's not that detailed. I just, I'm not that much of a techie person. I had someone else help me with this stuff. But yeah, just letting you guys know that those are the type of questions that are gonna be asked here. Before we start anything though, I'm going to show you guys what each component of my setup actually does because I have had lots of questions from people asking me if a P what a PC is or what it fun what its function is and etc and etc. So I'm gonna go one by one on each of these things and tell you what it does and why it's important in your setup. First and foremost, we have the actual PC. This is what my PC looks like. Not all of them look the exact same way, but that's just how mine is structured. Essentially what a PC does is it powers the whole thing. So much like you need a console to actually play video games when you're doing a console and a TV, this is your console in a sense. Yeah, I mean essentially without it you couldn't do anything. You do need, well I guess I'll answer that more in detail later on in the video, but a PC definitely is an essential to getting everything to power on. Otherwise you just have a, a monitor that doesn't really do anything. I think everything else here is pretty self-explanatory to be honest with you. That's just my headphones. Uh, my keyboard, my mouse, and my monitor, which is like the TV of the whole setup in a sense. So that's essentially all that uh, there is to my setup. I will link in the description box below a video to a whole setup tour if you're interested from when I first got this setup. Nothing has changed since then except this. So that's not really part of the setup. So I'll definitely link it down below if you're interested. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I have a bunch of questions from you guys already set up on my notes tab here on my MacBook. I Yes, I have both. I use it for different things. But I'm going to be answering some of you guys' questions and hopefully this will help you guys out. I'm going to go one by one. I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible with these responses. Uh, so first question, how much did everything cost all together? It was a total of about $1,900. I don't know the exact number. I didn't really keep track and I'm actually a little scared to look back and track it. But yes, it was $1,900 total at least or around there. Um, yeah. That's, that's essentially that. Do you really need a PC? This question is the one I get the most, definitely. Um, so yes and no. Technically, you need something to power your whole setup. So you either need a PC or you need a console. Otherwise, like this, just having a monitor and your headphones and keyboard, nothing's gonna happen. It's similar to like a TV. When you have a TV and a console set up, Without the console, you just have a TV. You either, if you don't want to get a PC, and I, if you're trying to stay in a budget and you're not sure if you want to go for a PC so early on, then I really suggest going for a console. Consoles are definitely a lot cheaper, and if you actually want to get a good PC, it's going to be way more than $500 for sure. At least, at least $500. I understand you can build your own PC and customize it to what you want, but to get a decent PC, even building it, it's definitely going to cost you over $500 at least and that's how much a console is going to cost you anyway so if you want to spend max $500 then I said just going for a console if you want to sp if you have the money to spend more than a thousand or so on a PC then you definitely want to go for a PC now that you're at it regardless of what you pick you either have to have a PC or a console to power your whole system something needs to be there to power the system otherwise there's nothing there and your setup run Minecraft Roblox and Sims I chose those because th those are the questions I get asked most but yes it easily runs those games those are the easiest games it'll run and it'll run games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warframe, Dead by Daylight, all those games, I mean Rainbow Sage, 
all of those games are easily able to run on my setup. There's no problems with it at all. It's a great setup. I love it. Did you build your PC or is it pre-built? Mine was pre-built. I know a lot of people harp on how bad a pre-built usually is, but one of my friends actually has his own PC system and he's the one who actually helped me out in making sure that I wasn't getting like scammed out of my money or anything or I was making or I was getting what I was paying for and he added everything up and it seemed to be a few hundred dollars off like two to three hundred dollars off of a difference from what I would have paid if I paid for those things individually and I thought it was worth it to be honest because they were paying themselves 200 to 300 just to build it you know for me and everything and have all the components ready they were just going to build it for me and ship it out to me so I thought it was a pretty good deal and honestly even if it was a, a bit more off I would have probably still paid for it because at the time I was in college I was pretty stressed out so I didn't have the time energy or knowledge to build my own or have anyone else build it for me so I just chose to get it pre-built and honestly it's great I mean I'm perfectly content with mine and if I want to upgrade in the future i might build my own or i might buy from them again i don't know i haven't decided yet but for now as a starter this is a great build is the pc website legit so if you after telling you guys that it is pre-built i did get it off a website obviously that is where i ordered mine from and yes the website is legit i know it looks kind of iffy looking because it has such a dark like theme to it but I promise you it's 100% safe they are a small business here in Texas and they are really trustworthy and it's so cute because they email you constantly with like updates on your PC they're like hey it's in the building stage it's in the text testing stage it's being picked out of its components now and all that stuff they keep you really updated and they also send you pictures along the way for your progress just like as if, as if it was a baby and it's like the cutest little thing i loved it i had i love their customer service if you re reach out to them and even text them through that little like chat that they have on their website they are 100 percent legit they will actually answer you with a human it won't be a bot responding to you that being said i've had people ask questions on whether they ship internationally internationally sorry that hurt to say i don't know why i started said oh my god i don't know why i started through that but i don't honestly know um i would reach out to them and email them about that i don't know if they ship internationally i know they're a small business so they ship here in the u.s but other than that i don't know i would recommend emailing for sure how long did your pc take to arrive so I feel like my wait time was probably a lot less than what you guys would probably wait for. I had to wait about three to five days for mine to get here, but I live a few towns over to where they're like, uh, where their business is located. I think they live in like Prairie, v Prairie, Texas or something like that. I live in Austin, Texas. So I feel like mine arrived way earlier than if I lived in a different state but it arrived perfectly fine i mean the guy who was dropping it off for me handed it to me directly it was kind of heavy it was really well protected if you go watch that video of me unboxing my setup you can see that was really really well protected and it has a glass um this door here this is a glass it's actual glass and it was completely fine there's no scratches on it there was no breaks on it or anything and it arrived great and in like three to five days how could you afford it all i get this question a lot and i wasn't going to put this question in the video because it's not technically relating to my pc but i just get this question so much even though i i kind of mentioned it in the video paid for it myself my parents did not pay for it, this I am 18 years old I manage my own money at this point um, I actually got a bunch of scholarships from college and after deducting all the price costs for all my classes I had $1,900 left over so with that refund that I got I actually used it to perfectly cover everything that you see here so that's why i say it's 1900 dollars because that's how much money i got back from the school it's pretty expensive i will say but i think i'm really happy with it and honestly if i hadn't spent the money on this i probably would have just left it sitting in my savings account so i'm pretty content but yes i paid for everything my parents didn't pay for any of this i'm 18 years old and manage my own money i'm in college i got a college refund i just i just wanted to explain that because i do get lots of 
comments. Almost sometimes I get backhanded comments like, oh, you must be rich. <laughs> I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm not rich. I got a refund. So, yes. Where did you get everything? So, I get a lot of questions on this video specifically of people asking, where did you get blank? And essentially, it's usually like your gaming chair, your headphones, your PC, your monitor, etc. Everything is always going to be linked in my description boxes. Everything. Even if it's not a gaming video, even if it's not like a room decor video or anything, everything is always linked down there. And it's always linked to an Amazon store because I got most of my things from Amazon, except that PC, which is also linked down there in every single video. And it has a code down there for $20 off if you use code Giselle. Anyway, just wanted to say that. But yes, it's always linked in every single video in case someone asks me. So that way I don't have to like pull out the link any anymore. I could just, they could just go to my description box and find what they're looking for. Yes, it is linked to my Amazon store because that was the best way where I could like group all the links to everything in one easy place. That way I wouldn't have to have 20 different links in my description boxes at all times. Um, so if you go in my, the description box, there's a link to my Amazon store and once you click it, it'll give you like three different like categories to click from. It'll have like a room decor one, an Apple products one, and one for my gaming setup. And that gaming setup one is probably the one you're looking for. And it has everything in there. It has my monitor, my chair, my desk. It has, um, my headphones, my mouse, my keyboard. All of that stuff, I bought it off Amazon. I'm probably like Amazon's favorite customer at this point. I shop there way too much. But yes, I got all that stuff from Amazon except the PC. The PC I did get from RGB Custom PCs. They were pretty great. And it's also linked down there with that discount code I offered you guys. Did your PC come with Windows pre-installed? Yes, it did. And honestly, I can't answer this question any better than that. I am not, again, not a tech person. I'm not really that knowledgeable on that stuff. So I don't know how or why, but it just did come with Windows pre-installed. Okay, so this is a big question I get too. Well, recently. How is your PC doing a few months later? Or my whole system, how is it doing later? It's doing great, to be honest with you. I've had no issues with it so far. It runs all my games perfectly smoothly. And I love it, to be honest with you. I would probably, not, I wouldn't trade it for any other PC out there at the moment. This is a great starter PC, especially for those people that are not sure if they really want to commit to PC gaming. I recently made the switch from console gaming to PC gaming. I've owned consoles for my whole entire life. Um, so the switch is really odd to me still. I'm still trying to learn the functions of the, the moving, the normal keyboard moving gestures. But yeah, I definitely recommend this PC. It's such a good starter PC. It has no issues so far at all. The only thing I will say that if I could go back and change is that I would change the amount of RAM I had. RAM is essentially like the memory of the PC. I would get probably a bigger RAM because I could hold more games like that. I could hold the amount of games not now fine, but I have had to delete some just because it won't hold those games anymore. Uh, it's not really a big problem for me to be honest because I mostly play some games to like film videos on and then I delete them, the ones that I'm not like really too crazy about. But uh, I would like to keep every game that I buy. I mean, I don't like the idea of like having to throw it away afterwards, you know what I mean? But honestly, everything else is perfectly fine. There's been no issues with the PC itself. What options did you click for the PC? So when you go to the website, there are a bunch of options for everything that goes into your PC. You don't just order a PC with random parts in it and they send it to you. You can, it's customizable guys. The case, everything from the case to what's inside the PC is up to you. You pick what goes inside your PC and they build it to whatever you want. I clicked all the basic options on my PC except for the video card. I think that one I went with the second option, whatever option that may be. I'll put it somewhere here on the screen, but that's the se that's the only thing I changed. The video card was like option two, I think. How does RGB custom PCs work? As I mentioned in the last question, your PC is customizable. You are not just ordering a random PC with random parts that someone built. That's what I love about them. I like RGB custom PCs because they let you pick what options you have. You have like options for your video card, for your RAM, for the case. There's more than just the pink case. There's like white, black, uh, I think there's a bunch of other colors for sure. 
Uh, I'll put pictures here somewhere. Essentially, if you click my link below, it'll send you directly to the one I have, which is the Odyssey. But there's a bunch of other options, which I definitely recommend exploring. Mine is definitely not the cheapest option that they have. So I recommend looking around, seeing which PC fits your interest most, and then, or mo mostly on the, like, the, the, the way it's structured, essentially. That's the only difference there is, but the options that they give you are all the same. Um, but yes, once you click whatever PC that you want, um, it'll give you options for the case, it'll give you options for the RAM, it'll give you options for everything that goes into it. The only difference with RGB custom PCs in regards to like building it is that somebody else builds it for you. That's essentially what you're paying for, even though you have the option to go and say what you want in the PC. And I think that's really cool of them, especially for those who are like a little iffy about buying pre-built PCs because it's a, it's a, it's definitely a concern for sure. That's why a lot of people harp on the issues, but um, this one works great and their business is really, really nice and really helpful, especially for those people who aren't very tech knowledgeable like me. I mean, they'll really help you out in picking something that suits your interest and they're gonna be genuine about it they're not gonna try to scam you out of your money or anything or try to get the most money out of you they're really great they're a really great company honestly is your pc loud um yes and no it's currently on right now um but i would i would i would shut up and show y'all but i also have my mini fridge on right now and that also is making some noise so i don't know if you can hear it or not but Personally, when it's just on like this, I have no issues with you with it. It's per it's not loud at all, to be honest with you. I'm not saying it doesn't make noise. It does make a little slight faint noise, but it's nothing like too crazy. The only times I will say it gets pretty loud is when I'm playing games like uh, Call of Duty or um, Dead by Daylight or any game that takes a lot of work to run, um, like those. That's the only time that it'll get semi-loud, but not even then. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's not loud or anything. It's It works fine. I, I can film gaming videos and you guys can't hear it, or nobody has said anything at least. If I moved, it's because I had to change the battery on my camera. But um, my next question is, where is your screensaver from? So if you didn't watch the first video, this one's probably not gonna make sense, but I do get a lot of questions asking me where my screensaver from that video was from. And at first I was like telling you guys what I Googled and it didn't really work out. So I left it in the community tab if you're interested in getting that same screensaver. And if you're just interested in seeing what screensaver I'm talking about, it's linked in the description tab uh, here on my channel. So yeah, there it is. Can you use the monitor to stream? I don't know what you're asking essentially and like detailed wise. I don't know if you're asking me if the cam if the monitor has a camera or if you s can stream using that monitor. I'm not really sure, but I'll answer both both questions. Um, my monitor at the moment does not have a camera built into it, but you can stream on it. Like uh, if you have an external camera like I do, I currently use the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, you can connect it to your setup and you can stream. Hope this answers your question. Is your gaming chair comfy? So I've gotten this question quite a bit actually, more than I thought I would. Um, they're talking about this one. I have not changed gaming chairs since then. And it does look pretty stiff to be honest with you. So I'm assuming that's why people are asking me if it's comfortable. Um, yes. At first, it probably it wasn't because, you know, it's new and nobody has ever sat in it and so it's still like pretty thick from when it's first bought, but it, after a while, it does get comfortable, you know, because you're sitting in it. And it's actually my favorite place to sit now and the headrest is really comfortable. You can actually remove this. There's also a pillow down here that you can remove as well. And yeah. Also, a lot I didn't mention this in my gaming video, but my miss, my chair massages you yes it has like a little cord on the side of it that you can remove if you don't want to um but yes it has, a, it has a little cord on the side that you can connect to an outlet and you could click a button and it massages you really really good and it's really helpful for girls when you have you know you have cramps and such I'm just saying, it's comfortable. But yeah, it's super comfy. You can take off these pillows if they're not comfy for you. And it was a really great price. I think it's still the same price. I mean, I hope it's still the same price as when I bought it. Do you recommend your setup? 
So I'm going to assume you mean like everything, like if I recommend every single piece of it. Um, I, I like my setup, honestly. It's a great starter setup. Essentially my budget was kind of a scholarship refund. I, I did not have money to go outside of that means. So um, I bought things that were like some pretty pretty expensive, but not the most expensive thing out there, you know, not the best thing, but also not like the worst thing out there either. I wanted to get a setup that was functional and actually worked right and that I wouldn't have to update for a while, but without going like super high up there, you know what I mean? Because I just didn't have that money. But uh, yeah, that's why I have a bunch of razor products. Razor products are actually pretty decently priced. They're actually really well priced. I loved, I love razor, but I do like my setup. It's a great setup for someone who's just getting into the PC world. I'm so happy with my setup. If I could change one thing going back, uh, on my setup is that I would get things that have less cables with them. So when I bought everything, I thought it'd be really cool to have everything just have cords because I have no idea. For some reason, it makes me feel more like a gamer or something. I don't know. I really don't know <laughs> what I was thinking back then. But if I could go back, I would definitely pick a lot more things that have more of a Bluetooth option, such as the um, headphones and also the little mouse. I would probably go for Bluetooth. Um, just so I could like cord manage a lot easier. My cord management is a mess right now. I actually don't even want to show you because I'm embarrassed. But yeah, that's what I would change because honestly my setup's not perfect, of course, but I am happy with it as of right now. Have you updated your setup since then? Um, kind of. I have added that little switch thing and I have added like a whole HDMI port option ordeal. I am definitely going to be doing a gaming setup update because I have some things currently like arriving legit today from Amazon uh, that I will be, will be unboxing on my gaming channel. I'm going to be making an updated setup video also on my gaming channel. It's not going to be on here. I just wanted to do a little update on the PC because it did really pop off a lot more than I expected it to and you guys have lots of questions so I wanted to be there to actually respond to your questions but I do have a gaming channel. Um, I recently started it I think at the beginning of December if I'm not mistaken so it doesn't have that many videos on there but I am posting twice a week every Sunday and Wednesday just like I am on here so uh, definitely go check it out it's linked in the description box below if you're interested um, that's when I'm, I'm going to be doing my updated gaming setup this is not the final option uh, version of it I'm gonna have some things coming in today that I'm going to be implementing there and yes that's that's where that's gonna happen I mean there's not gonna be any more gaming videos on here just letting you guys know and it's not because I don't want to make them it's because now I have a whole different outlet to make them on I have a whole gaming channel and so it wouldn't really make sense for me to make gaming videos on my lifestyle channel channel when I have a whole gaming channel to do that so I'm just letting you guys know if you want to see those type of kind of videos go to my gaming channel that's where it's gonna be going at and yeah yeah those are all the questions we're done so I hope you guys enjoyed I I hope you found this helpful. I try to make this as helpful as possible and try to answer all the most frequently asked questions. Don't forget, I do have a gaming channel. It is linked in the description box below. Everything is linked in the description box below. My Amazon links to all of this, my PC links. Also, don't forget to use code Giselle for $20 off your um, purchase. It doesn't cover much, but at least it covers taxes, you know? Hey, that's $20 off your whole order, so that's not bad in my opinion. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!